this project. It's uh, also about cultural exchange, but uh, the main topic is about pandemic and the situation. And uh, it's interesting to know the different uh, experience of people who live uh, in different countries and uh, have the same like coronavirus situation and in which way they communicate um, uh, during the COVID and in which way they are trying to uh, have an ordinary life in this time. Uh, well, when I heard it for the first time, I didn't think it will last long. Actually, I thought like, oh, it will, you know, and in a few weeks or something like this, it's just rumors and we should not believe this. But when um, I realized it will last long, probably I had some time to adjust to it. So I like had hope it will end soon. Uh, each time like there were some news, you know, because no one said that, you know, it will be for a year or for two. Uh, people expected for better, so it wasn't so, you know, like, um, for some established for some time but if I knew um, for the first day it will last so long I would probably had a panic attack or heart attack but I think that people are creatures that are easily adjust to things you know so probably it wasn't so bad for me in general so when I first heard that the borders are closed and uh, uh, the, it's time of the pandemic, um, I thought it was kind of a joke and I didn't believe it. And uh, I still had hope that I would travel one day as I've never been abroad. Um, and uh, it's, yeah, it's my first time abroad here in Poland. And yeah, so at that time I didn't know it would be so long and uh, I was really depressed and yeah, I'm a social creature who wants to communicate with people. And uh, right now, I'm, I'm glad that I can meet people around me. I can um, socialize yeah, and have good friends. So I'm really happy. I hope it will be all over soon and uh, we will all have freedom to communicate, vaccinated, non-vaccinated. But right now, I'm happy to be here. Uh, when I heard about the pandemic first time, I thought that it will last maybe two or three months. And I had a trip planned for the vacation. And I really thought that I will go uh, for this trip, but it turned out that I will not go for maybe two or three years. Uh, so um, it was at first, uh, for me, it was really annoying that it, it is not going to stop uh, at all, but I'm starting to getting used to the uh, new, new life. During the first lockdown, I was um, on the last uh, semester of my master's degree, so I have online lectures and then I have a lot of free time, so I was reading books, watching TV series and have a lot of time for my hobbies. I, uh, well, there is a lot of differences between uh, studying stationary and online and I think that the main difference is uh, that uh, the whole school life is uh, moved from the reality into the internet. Uh, you are having uh, classes on the, on the internet uh, campus of your universities in which you, you can uh, like, um, have uh, lectures with your teachers and also you can contact them in that way. So uh, I think that maybe uh, online learning make uh, it easier for students to like contact uh, the tutors at all times that they want. But at the same time, uh, when you don't have direct connection with them, it's uh, harder to like uh, create a bond with them so that uh, the learning will, will be a process uh, which will be easier for you. Uh, there was a, there was a lots of um, funny situations I heard uh, about it. There was a lots of funny situations uh, when we study at home when we are studying online. Uh, for example, some people uh, when they, their uh, lesson started at uh, eight uh, in the morning, they just uh, open open it, they love their laptops and uh, after when the after uh, starts of the lessons, 
Uh, they fall, fall asleep with the op open laptop, and some people, some people can do can do that. There's, there's lots of funny situations with that because you, when you have uh, online studies, you're sitting in your home. Uh, you, uh, the teacher of of, uh, of your lesson, don't have uh, any. Um, and the possibility to see what you're doing when you have uh, your uh, camera uh, camera on off, and uh, there's lots of funny situation about that. Um, well, it's uh, great for me because I believe that I'm an extroverted person. I have a, a need. Uh, communicated, uh, communicating with people and even when I was on the quarantine I managed to find uh, you know the online meetings um, the, uh, one guy from um, England she made a site where people can communicate uh, on different topics he was a moderator so I um, uh, participated on this kind of meeting so like it was easier for me but still meeting people in real life is much more um, better because you exchange energy uh, like um, non-verbal signs you know it's much more powerful and um, you know yeah in this way like i enjoy it a lot